Welcome back to Math Tomorrow. So today we're just gonna be continuing um some trigonometry, but today I'm gonna be talking mostly about um functions. So certain like functions that um you should definitely remember to keep in mind when solving. So there are three for um squared, and then there's a, a chart that you should probably remember. Um, I mean not probably you should definitely remember that um for just to refer back to when solving trigonometric um problems. So. For the first, uh, theory, uh, for the first um, uh, equation, right? Uh, that's sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals one, right? Number two is um, sec squared theta minus tan squared theta also equals one, and the third one is that um, CSC square theta right minus cot square theta is equal to one so these are important um squared formulas that you should definitely remember which will help you solve like simplify a lot of uh equations so okay and now um now we're gonna move on to the uh, chart right the degrees chart so um these are for different degrees like sine of 0 30 45 60 90 like that for co cosine um, tangent, all of them, right? So, it's but uh, if you remember um, just the sine one, you can find out all of them just using the sine. So, um, let me first write down the degrees: zero degrees, thirty degrees, forty-five degrees, sixty degrees, and ninety degrees, right? So you'll you'll be able to solve like a lot of problems based on this, right? So then, um, how can we break this down? So this is sine. It's like a chart, right? Sine. All right, cosine. All right. So, well, for zero degrees, right? Sine of zero is just zero. Sine of thirty is one half. Sine of forty-five is one over root two, right? Or uh, root two over two if you rationalize that, right? For sixty degrees, it's root three over two, right? Let me make this less confusing actually. Let me just keep the rationalized form because otherwise it might cause some confusion. It's root 2 over 2, right? Um, six, uh, sine of 60 degrees is root 3 over 2, and sine of 90 is 1. So, as I said before, if you know the, the if you know these values, right, for um, 0, 30, 45, 60, 90, you can find it for the entire chart for all of them. So, how this works is for a cosine, right, it's going to be um, the exact reverse order of this, right? So, co cos of 0 is going to be 1, right, because then you start from the end. It's going to be the opposite order, right? And then, uh, what do you think is going to be for the 30? Well, it's going to be the root 3 over 2. Right, you see, we're coming back this way and writing it this way for co uh, for cosine. For this one, it's going to be exactly the same because they're both in the middle. Root two over two, right? So uh, cos cosine of sixty is going to be one half, and then cosine of zero is going to be um, cosine of uh, ninety is going to be one. I mean, sorry, zero. Cosine of zero, sorry, cosine of ninety is going to be zero. Okay, and now we can write it for tangent, right? So then, for tangent, right, what is it going to be? It's just going to be sine over cos, right? Because that's the, like, tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. Right? We know this. It's a theorem that we learned in previous videos. So so then, how are we going to do this, right? Um, it's going to be a sine of 0 over cos of 0, right? Which is 0 over 1, which is 0, right? 1 half over root 3 over 2, right? 1 half times 2 over root 3, right? Is equal to 1 over root 3, or if we rationalize it, sorry, that's equal to root 3 over 3, right? So like that, you could go through all of, the, all of these, right? If you do um, that, the, uh, root 2 over 2 over root 2 over 2, this is going to be equal to 1, right? If you do root 3 over 2 times 2 is going to just be root 3. And then 1 over 0, you can't do that, so this one's going to be undefined, right? So, well, you could do this for the entire chart, right? But, um, you know, I'm not going to do that because, um, you know, it's what we've learned before, right? If you do uh, if you do uh, the opposite of sine, right? Like, um, 
for this for sine of zero uh, for oh uh, sorry co um cosecant of zero it's gonna be undefined because then it's gonna be zero over zero right because it's um sine theta well the one over cosecant theta right that's what you have to remember that's that applies for all of them this one is for sec and this one is for cot it's the same thing so you can go through and solve this entire table, but I think as long as you know sine, you should be okay for all of them. As long as you know the theorems, uh, the basic theorems, and um, what the sine values are. So, yeah, just memorize these um, these different um, formulas. Thank you. Hope you learned something.